And now we want to take a look at materials and hours. Okay, so we're in this, we want to figure out our materials and hours for each one of our tasks. Now, considering materials, okay, with materials, let me, let me start by saying, you just need to get in the ballpark here. I know this is an area where you can feel like, do I need to know every 90 and every little bit of whatever? You have a good idea of what, what, your, what the costs are and what you're using, okay? You just want to make sure that you, kinda, you kind of uh, capture all the big expenses. Of course, um, you, know, you don't have to be right on the price for, for your smaller things like your fittings and you know, even you know, your you know, flappers and your fill valves, that kind of stuff. You, you know what those costs are. Now, you may want to get, uh, you know, check in with the supply house and have them send you your costs on you know, your bigger ticket items because, you know, you miss, you miss by a little bit, you can miss by a lot kind of a thing uh, when you're dealing with, um, you know, bigger ticket items like water heaters and water softeners and even pumps and those kinds of things, okay? So, but you just, you want to get it in the ballpark, okay? So you don't have to feel that you got to be right on, okay? Also, another rule of thumb is I always, even for the little things, add another, you know, um, ten dollars just in, in materials. I never have anything for less, you know, like a flapper. You know, you can get a, you know, good heavy-duty flapper for a couple bucks, okay, and, and how you're buying them, okay. But I ne always have at least ten dollars figured in my materials, okay, because there's just there's um, rags and and paper towels and shoe covers. You know, you got all kinds of stuff. So just you help cover all that kind of stuff, okay.